What is up everybody? It's about time. I've been questioned so much on these two products um, and I really think it's about time that I give you my personal and honest review about these products. First and foremost, we have the Logitech Blue Sona and also we have got the Lighter Beam Lights made by Logitech for creators, for people like us creators and streamers. I'm gonna go through these two products today. We're gonna chat a bit about them and um, give you a bit of insight on why you should buy these and why they are my favorite products on the market at the moment. Let's get straight into the microphone. Wow, as soon as I got it out the, the box, my first word was wow. You can see by the finish, it's shiny, nice and clean. It's honestly one of the best microphones I've seen. And when it comes to microphones, obviously there's a bit of an argument. Um, personally for me, dynamic mics are a must if you're a streamer, if you wanna take your audio seriously. Um, and that is what they've done. They've created a dynamic mic. You see, when we're talking about dynamic mics, the best thing about them is it picks up everything that's in front of the microphone, if that makes sense. Well, obviously from the front. So all your audio is here as you can imagine, change, you know what I'm saying? And it focuses on your voice when you're in front of the microphone. This is why I think if you're in front of a monitor while gaming and you have the microphone. Let's excuse that blooper that just happened. When you are gaming and you're in front of your monitor and obviously the microphone is in front of you, you're speaking to chat, it's going to pick up everything that is going directly into the microphone. So. Yeah, dynamic mics just work best as a streamer. And that's my personal opinion. I'm sure people will argue that. Two of my favorite features probably, I'll start with the first one, is the pop filters. I love red, so this stuck out for me straight away. I got the cable to make it match. It just looks incredible. And it comes with two. Obviously, the pop filters are removable. So you can pop on a black one there, or you can keep the red one. I haven't got the black one to show you. Just use your imagination. But between me and you, just keep the red one on. It looks better. When it comes to the audio, I've been using this before it was released, believe it or not. I had to cover up everything, obviously not to spoil the release, but I've been using it for a few fair months now. And I am so impressed. It is so easy to set up, so easy to use. And as you can hear right now while I'm talking to you, the audio is crystal clear. It genuinely sounds incredible. You can hear the boy, the beat, the, 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 the. You can hear the bass in my voice. You can hear how clear I sound. And to top it off, it just looks 10 out of 10. I'm currently using the Logitech Blue Sona with my Ava Media live streamer, the AX310, if I'm not mistaken, live streamer. Um, yeah, a lot of microphones you do need a clear amp to use so when you're using a microphone like this you will need to pair it up with a mixer um obviously there's a few brands out there which i can't really speak about but i use the ava media which is one of the best mixers on the market at the moment uh paired up with this microphone so simple to set up obviously with every microphone you need to tweak it just right so it sounds good for you um which takes a few minutes but once it's done you can sound crystal 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 clear one of my favorite, favorite things about this and one of the smoothest designs I have seen on a microphone is if I flip this over without hopefully disturbing the audio too much. This at the back here is magnetic. Can I see where I'm pushing? It needs to be at the top of the Logi. Oh, it's the bottom, sorry, it's the bottom. This is magnetic, which hides two buttons at the back. One of them is your presence and one of them is your bass cut. These you can twinkle with too, there and then to make your voice sound different. It is such an incredible addition to a microphone. It makes life so easy as well. If you're listening to your audio back and you're fiddling with these two buttons, you can make your voice sound exactly as you want to. And fitted with a lovely magnetic cover, it just looks 10 out of 10. I was going to go into detail about my mixer and what settings I use, uh, which I can do in another video if there's enough comments and you guys want to see my settings and how it will benefit you uh, when setting up your microphone. I can do one of them quite simple for you and quite easily. So please let me down, let me know down in the comments if that is something you're actually interested in. Um, overall, as you can see how happy I am recording this video, I am absolutely in love with this microphone. I, I, I can't fault it and I'm very grateful I was one of the people who sent one of these microphones to test and give my review on it 
Um, at the moment, on the market, this goes for about $350, if I'm not mistaken. So a bit cheaper in pounds. I think about $320. I might be wrong, give or take. Um, for a dynamic mic, that is a ridiculous price. And if you aren't thinking about purchasing one of these microphones, I really, really, really highly recommend it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Blue Sona. We're going to move on to the Lytra Beam. And I'm excited to show you guys this one too. We are now on to the second product that we've been gifted the Logitech Lytra Beam. If you are a streamer and you use a webcam, lighting should be your priority every single time to make your camera look better. Have a look at this. I'll give you a little example. Here as I'm recording, lights are currently off. This looks horrible. You can't see my face. You can't see my features. In three, two, one, this is what lighting can do. You can go, even me, I can go from a four to a to at least a 13 out of 10. And I think that's being generous to myself, but lighting helps so much. Um, and, and of course, with the lighter beam, it just makes life so much easier, makes you look clearer, and it gives your viewers a better experience to see what you look like. What I've done is I've just removed one of the lighter beams so I can actually talk to you guys about this and you guys can actually see, we can zoom in a bit more uh, compared to the, to, to, to the, to the microphone, because that's obviously on a mount, but uh, these are two but I'm able to take one off just to show you through the video. So very slick design. Obviously you can put these in different directions. I will show you with the mount at the back here. Incredible. I don't know if my camera will focus. Please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. There we go. Um, I'm sure you can see these. Can I focus a bit more here? There we go. You have your, your mount here. You have for cable management over here. This is your on light over here. This will be plus and minus to obviously turn the, the brightness up and down, as you can imagine. And you have the lighting too, to make the lighting a bit colder or to make it a bit warmer. You know, that changes the color in your skin to actually show people what they're looking at. What I'm going to bring out now is the mount. This is, in my opinion, the biggest selling point for this light. Very simple. Obviously, it doesn't take a lot of space on your desk, as you can see. It's about the size of my hand. You can put this in your corner of your desk. You can put it behind the monitor. You can put it at different angles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this real time with you, how simple it is. Simply screw in your light. It works in different directions. So obviously, you can go down, depending on what you want to record. If you want to do your keyboard, anything like that. You can go upwards. You can extend. You can turn the light around. This will obviously change angles for you to make it different. You know, if you want to get around the monitor, if you want to get around the other side of the monitor, it makes life so easy and it makes it, it makes this able to catch every angle with lighting for your camera. Um, and it, it's such a simple design. It's so smart, so easy. When I saw this being released, I knew straight away I needed one of these. And so do you. I'm going to take you over to the G Hub app where you can obviously control the light too. Makes it so simple and it's all remote from your PC. Right, we are currently on the G Hub app now. Very simple to do. So um, as you can see, you obviously click on your light beam. So very simple here. I've got one in my hand so you'll be able to see what it kind of looks like. Um, and here by a simple click of a button, that's power on. As you can see, it's very bright. This is no adjustments or anything. Very nice. It doesn't hurt your eyes. I've got this really close to my eyes right now and it is perfect. So if you've got this in front of you while streaming, while recording, while doing anything, it's not going to hurt your eyes because it's, it's quite, um, it's quite nice to the eye. I'm going to do this with you here. So as you can see, um, what Logitech have done here, as you can read there, the USB port for this device is not providing enough power. So it depends on obviously what you plug this into, which will give you more power for your brightness, um, which is very simple. So you can either plug this in via Bluetooth or alternatively, you can use a USB straight to the PC, which gives you the opportunity to obviously adjust it. They both work on the G Hub on Bluetooth and straight by USB. So this is perfect, like 70 per four, or 70, 74 or 74% brightness works perfectly. And obviously it depends what USB port you have plugged into your PC. Um, and very cool here, you can adjust the warmth and the coolness. So as you can see, this is changing color while it's holding, while it's in my hands. There you go, that changes it to cool. Um, if you wanna go over to warm, you can put it over to warm there. I, I really like the look of this. As you can see what it kind of looks like, obviously I can put it behind my monitor so you'll see the lighting. But um, if I turn the other 
lighter beams off in the back you can see how dark it is and obviously how this will uplift your face so if i do move this over this is just one it's going to show you how bright my face is going to be you know what i mean and obviously with if you have two key lights it's going to show every angle and every side which is just going to make your face look even brighter my two favorite features to bring this video to a close of the lightro beam is the screw-ins i really love how they've done this and how it enables you to actually um, rotate around your setup you know what i mean you can put it up that way as i showed you can put it up um i think that's portrait yes it is portrait you can put it up portrait and landscape i hope i've got that correct otherwise it's just going to be a meme but those are one of my favorite features and obviously the back here if it's on top of your monitor you can obviously power it on straight away by a click of a button change the temperature um, which is obviously your warmth and coolness right very simple here by two buttons and of course you've got your brightness up and down very simple to do you don't even need to look at it because it's right in front of you those are my two favorite features from the lightro beam and for me that has reviewed this today i would say this is a must guys i cannot explain how much lighting does for your setup and how much it makes your camera quality pop as soon as you have decent lighting it'll make your uh, very 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 average camera go from a 10 out of go well go from a 4 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 just with good lighting it is so important this on the market doesn't take up any space on your desk it is so simple to use and shout out to g hub i think g hub is one of the best apps i've seen it makes it so remote it makes it very simple to just on and off on every single bit of your logitech equipment and obviously if you have multiple logitech um, products you can control them all from the g hub and it just makes it so simple now that you've got a light that you can use for streaming and recording videos this is a 10 out of 10 for me i highly recommend you guys purchase this for your setup because it's just going to make your camera quality look 10 out of 10 that brings this video to a close. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, this is probably my second review on the channel. I know I'm not up to scratch with the reviews, but I really do enjoy doing them. Thank you, Logitech, for the two products that you've sent out to me. Obviously, I've partnered up with Logitech uh, with the Lightro Beam and the Blue Sona to record this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it has uh, been worth your time. And uh, once again, bigger shout out to Logitech. Um, my links are going to be in the description if you want to purchase them through Amazon. Um, I'm going to put my affiliate links there. So the purchases through those links will help me directly as a content creator. If you haven't subscribed, please drop a subscription, a subscribe subscription same thing you know what i mean drop a like on the video and if you guys enjoy these kind of videos let me know in the comments so i can record more of these for you i've been the caramel gamer and that is an end Blah.